Hi, I'm Hadi from myflashlabs.com and this is the third episode from our video tutorials about how to implement R native extensions into your project. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can implement an ANE into your Flash CC IDE. If you are using the latest uh, Adobe Animate CC IDE, uh, you can still go on with this video because the steps you have to take for that ID is pretty much the same, so you, you will be just fine. Uh, we are going to start using uh, the Rich Web View ANE, and um, uh, if you are going to use any other ANE, again, the steps will be pretty much the same. Uh, so uh, let's download this ANE. Uh, I have actually downloaded it and put it here on my desktop. So, before starting to see what's in, inside this zip file, which I just downloaded from the GitHub repository, let's take a look at the uh, demo project, which I have uh, built just as a demo uh, here. Um, Depending on your preferences, uh, you may decide on how to organize your project. In my case, I have created two FLA files, one for the Android side and one for the iOS side. I have created a cert file, which I'm going to put all my certificates in this folder. Uh, I'm having a lib folder, which I'm going to put all the ANE files from different uh, providers here in the lib folder and I have a SRC folder which I'm going to store all my action script source files here and finally I have a dist folder which uh, all my resources that I'm going to use inside the uh, project will be placed here including the manifest XML files so uh, let's start with the Android FLA. Uh, if you want to see that uh, what this demo project is doing at the moment, let's take a look at the document class. Uh, uh, it's, it's really a simple project. It creates a new button and places it at the center of the screen. And when you touch on the button, it will just trace uh, a message into the console debugger. Let's run this project. All right. Here we go. And as soon as I hit the button, all right, you see, the trace is dispatched on the debugger. All right, let's close the <clears throat> debugger session and uh, get back to the Android project. Uh, all right, now what we are going to do is to add the ANE file into the project. So let's open the zip file we downloaded from the github repository well you will be able to see to find the ANE file in the fd uh, lib folder here it is uh, let's drag and drop it to the lib folder we created inside our project here we go And now that we have the any inside our project structure, uh, we need to go to the advanced setting in the Flash CC. And here uh, you can browse and find the ANE file, uh, which we are going to do that right now. Uh, it's in my project. CC. The file. All right, the any file is added to your project. Uh, now hit OK. Uh, 
Uh, one thing that you should always consider when working with Air Native extensions, uh, or generally whenever you're building an Adobe Air project, you must always remember that you are using the latest Air Native extension. Uh, here, if you check my SDK, you will see that I'm using the latest 22 beta RSDK. Uh, this is just a good idea to be using the latest RSDK and it will automatically solve a lot of different problems. So just remember this point. Uh, anyway, uh, another thing that you have to consider <coughs> when using Air Native extensions is that uh, depending on which Air Native extension you're using, uh, the AI provider might ask you to add different settings into the manifest XML file. And when you're using the Flash CC, uh, this ID is automatically adding settings to your manifest XML files, but uh, considering that you have to manually change these settings, you should be careful that you are really setting the Flash CC <coughs> settings to stop the ID from automatically modifying the manifest file. Um, and how we can do that? Uh, oops, sorry, you should go to the setting menu and on the permissions tag, uh, just make sure that this option is checked. So if you take a look at the manifest file of the Android side. Just open it in any text editor. Uh, here you will see that the ID has automatically added the extension tag that you have just implemented inside the ID here. But all of the other settings here, you have to uh, add them manually yourself. Uh, which we'll get to this point a bit later. Uh, all right, so let's save the project. Uh, now the a &E is inside your project and uh, what you should normally do is to start using the action script side to see how the a &E works. So we are going to uh, you know, in if you are using our ANEs from my Flash Labs team, uh, you'll be able to use the uh, references here on the air usage part. Uh, but the better approach is to use the actual demo project that we have just downloaded. Uh, go to the FD and then source folder and open the demo that is file all of our ANEs uh, actually have a demo project so you can use uh, the demo project and it will save you a lot of time okay uh, let's add the import statement first to our document class here and then, oh uh, yes, we have to introduce a new variable for our rich web view &E. We're gonna add it here. And then we should be initializing the extension like this. Uh, we're not going to go through the details of these Air Native extensions. We are just focusing on general usages, so it can be applied to any A and &E, not just the Wish Web UI and &E. So we are we just introduced the uh, new variable for the A and &E, and then as soon as our button is clicked, we are going to initialize the extension. Okay. Now let's run the project again and see what happens. All right. 
side. As soon as I hit the button, I will see a lot of error messages. Actually, this means that the extension is not implemented in your project, but you are sure that you have already implemented the project because you added it to the ID and you just double checked the manifest file and you saw the uh, extension tag being added to your project. So you are wondering what the problem could be. Well, uh, many Air Native extensions are using uh, native iOS and Android uh, APIs and they cannot be run on a simulator. So you have to use a real device to be able to use the extension. So let's just do that. First, let's close the debug session and then go to the deployment session and hit the publish button oh to my password for the certificate file okay then go with the publish all right here we go the application has been installed and as you can see in the mobile screenshot as soon as i hit the button the extension will be initialized and it's working so although you have been able to run the extension in your mobile device you shouldn't think that your job is complete no it's not because you still have not added the required xml uh, manifest settings uh, let's take a look at what settings we should add here uh, if you check out at our uh, repository reference uh, we have mentioned all the important all the important settings that you have to add to your manifest but again the better approach is to use the zip file that you downloaded from uh, github repository so let's go to the fd folder and open the xml file okay um i'm going to copy all the android tag from here add it to my own manifest file Oh, what's happening? All right, let's open it in an editor. Uh, I'm going to paste it right here and save it. Uh, what you should remember is that any Air Native extensions, of course, not all of them, but uh, most of Air native extensions require you to add different settings. For example, the rich web view is asking you to add the GPS permissions for the extension to be able to uh, communicate with the GP, GPS satellite and settings for the web, rich web view and it to work properly. And also it requires to, you to add an activity to your project. So the sample files uh, are going to help you add these settings to your project. Uh, if you were adding uh, for the iPhone side of your project, uh, you should have copied the iPhone part. But in this video, we are just adding the Android side. So uh, let's close the demo. And oh yeah, I just saved it. We can close this xml file 2 and now you can call uh, your ANE implementation a complete job you can go through the rest of the ANE documents and work with the ANE the way it is supposed to thank you very much and if you have any questions please do leave a new ticket in our github repository
and we'd be happy to help you.